A learning journal entry always has a big idea. In this case, based on the flat earth video that you should have just watched by Neil deGrasse Tyson, the, the question that's being asked, the big idea, you could, you could write the title of the video, but it makes more sense to rephrase it into this. Is the earth flat? So that's the subject. So you record that across the top of the page, and you're also going to want to write over on the side the vocabulary, or a little header, for where you list words. And the idea of that is just to list any key terms. They don't have to be big words, they're important words. You don't have to define them, you're just listing them over here on the side. I like to see that you're focused on what are the key vocabulary for the concept. Supporting details is most of the notes. And you don't have to write this phrase, but Across the top here, I've written supporting details to show that most of what's going to go in this space are the details. Now, what you want to try to do is not write down every single thing and be as visual as possible. You don't want to write down every single thing because you're going to miss something busy doing that, and it's kind of exhausting. You want to try to draw pictures as much as you can that capture the ideas and the concepts. Let's, let's put a little bit in here and see what happens at first. So in this situation, Neil deGrasse Tyson has pointed out that if the Earth were flat, why is it that all of the rest of the bodies of the solar system appear round to us as they're viewed through uh, in the sky, as they're viewed through a telescope? That just doesn't make sense. So this is one of the supporting details. It's an important diagram. We put in a version of it in here. Stick figures are fine. Clear and simple is better. Sometimes when you're watching these videos and slideshows or other material or reading, you come up with questions that occur to you. So here the question that, that you might have wondered about is, why did he say that almost everything in the universe is a sphere or, or, or at least partially a sphere? So you make a note to yourself to look that up later. These are your notes. You get to put down what questions and wonderings occur to you. But try to put them down. Think about your thinking. So the next example he gave as a way to take apart the theory of the flat Earth, or the hypothesis of the flat Earth, is lunar eclipses, which essentially is happening every time uh, the moon gets on the other side of the Earth from the sun, which is about two times a month. And so as the moon is passing through um, the shadow of the Earth, it should have an arc-shaped shadow and it does when we look at it we can see that it's an arc it's either this way or it's going the other way depending on which side of the sun the earth it's on and um, so that arc can only happen if the light is striking a round object and if it were flat well then at least some of the time it should look like this and that's not what we see so again try to keep the diagrams as simple as possible if you're watching a video, you can always stop it and draw what you want. Don't get too carried away with details, just get the key concepts. And then things like this, he said the Greeks knew about this. That's pretty amazing that 3,000 years ago, people had already figured it out, and yet there's people in today's society that think uh, that the bottom picture is the case. So some more evidence goes on to the next page. We need more room, that's fine. It's the well experiment showing how light coming down into the wells creates a shadow at an angle right here and here, and those two angles are opposite of each other, whereas if it were a flat earth and light from the sun were striking it, there would be no shadow at the bottom of the well at all. So we added some more vocabulary terms there. Let's run that back a little bit. Orientation and angles, and then there's the idea that a ship sailing over the horizon gradually disappears from view. And then finally, when we get to the end, we want to write a reflection. And the reflection is where you take the ideas that were in the video and you try to boil it down to the essence of what's stuck in your mind or what questions you have. And this is what occurred in my mind. Um, I think his, his diagrams and examples were pretty clear. So I hope that helped.